Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support here on the channel. For those of you that would like to book a private reading, uh, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other uh, services with me. Those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. You may also want to check out my uh, second tarot channel, Neptune's Child. Uh, tarot where I do have a bunch of other pick a card readings posted um, there as well. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing a no contact reading. Uh, we're going to be looking at what is happening in your connection with your person and then be getting some advice from spirit. Okay, so we do have three choices with the crystal today. Uh, pile one is going to be this obsidian. Pile two is the turquoise. And then pile number three is this marine agate. If you already feel drawn to a crystal already and you don't uh, need any more help, I'm going to be adding an additional card, but you can go ahead and jump down to the timestamps that'll be uh, pinned in the comments and they will also be listed in the description box. Okay, so let's get into pulling one of these cards. Um, let's see, let's make some room here. Okay, so let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Spirit here, what is the energy uh, in your no contact situation? Okay, and let's pull something for pile number one. This one is coming out. We've got the Knight of Cups. Okay, for pile number one, the Knight of Cups. Pile number two, what is the energy in your connection with your person? What is the energy in pile number two's no contact uh, situation? We have the moon. Okay. And I will give you guys a closer look at the crystals as well with the card. So pile three with the marine agate. What is the energy in your connection with your person? No contact. No contact spirit for pile number three. What is the energy in pile number three's connection? We have the seven of cups. Okay. This beautiful deck is from uh, Healing Days Oracle. She does have her own YouTube channel. She just sent me this deck. Um, Josie, if you're watching, thank you so much um, um, for this beautiful uh, tarot deck. I'm not sure what the name of it is. I think she might already have it listed in her Etsy shop. I will um, get with her and make sure that I list it correctly in uh, the description box for you guys. It is beautiful. Okay, so let's look at the choices. Pile one, we have the Knight of Cups with this obsidian. Okay, and we will talk about each of these cards, these energies that are coming through once we get into your specific pile. The pile one, the Knight of Cups with the Obsidian. Pile number two, we have the Moon, and that is with this little turquoise here. Pile number two. And pile number three, we have the Seven of Cups with this marine agate. Look at those sound bowls. I want some of those. <laughs> um, those are beautiful. Seven of Cups. Pile number three with the marine agate. Okay. So pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the card. If you read tarot, then you know the energies that are here. If you don't, maybe it's just choosing a crystal um, keyword that's here on the cards, the tarot cards. Okay, whatever you feel is the most drawing you in. Uh, Timestamps will be down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pile one. So those of you that resonated with the Knight of Cups and uh, if you were watching when I was pulling this card, I was asking Spirit, what is the overall energy in your connection uh, with your person in this no contact situation? Um, so the Knight of Cups, for those of you that don't read tarot, the Knight of Cups is about 
feelings, emotions, um, announcing feelings and emotions. Um, it's about being vulnerable, wearing your heart on your sleeve, keeping yourself open in terms of love and connection. So it's also about romantic feelings. Um, it's a very beautiful energy. Um, it's very romantic. Um, so I am getting that the energy that is in your no contact connection between you and your person is that there are romantic feelings that are there. And it could be that you've already, you know, talked to your person about what your feelings are. You've expressed your feelings and emotions. Um, but it can also be that, you know, maybe even the other person is wanting to announce and talk about their feelings and their emotions with you because, um, this Knight of Cups is more or less about announcing it, coming forward, expressing it, you know, shouting it from the rooftops kind of thing with the knight. Okay, it's a very beautiful energy. So let's, um, let's pull some tarot and let's see <clears throat> what is coming through for you. So no contact, no contact for pile one spirit. What is happening in their connection with their person on their mind, in their heart? Okay, no contact. What is happening in pile number one's connection? We have the sun. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. We have the, what is this? Eight of Wands. Okay. Sagittarius. What is happening in pile number one's connection? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Princess of Wands. I believe that's a page of wands. What is happening? Ace of wands. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Some of you uh, with the eight of pentacles energy here, this is Virgo energy. And then we've got um, Aries and then uh, what else? Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. What is happening? Some of you might work with the person with this Eight of Pentacles. Um, you, you could work with them. Um, uh, school, okay. Justice, Libra. And then we also have the Lovers, Gemini. There is definitely a very strong connection between you and this person. Okay. I am seeing the Nine of Swords energy here. This is uh, anxiety, worrying, stressing. Um, there is a very strong connection that is here between you and this person. So, um, wow. Someone is feeling anxious here, worrying about what may happen in the future. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like there is contact coming. Okay. From, from this pile, I'm seeing both the page of wands and the eight of wands energy here. The Eight of Wands is about energy that's in motion, something that's happening quickly. Um, there could be messages or communication coming in for you. It kind of makes me feel, because we do have the Knight of Cups, like I said, the Knight, the knight is, is an energy, it's the only Knight, um, for that matter, that is about coming forward. Because normally the pages in the tarot, they are messengers. They bring messages, they bring communication. But the Knight of Cups is about announcing feelings coming forward with an offer, with a proposal, with, you know, talking about something, expressing something. And I feel like there is a mutual energy between you and this person. There is love. There is attraction. There is chemistry. Um, someone may have been, I would feel maybe with the eight of pentacles here, working on themselves. They could be self-focused, but there's a lot of passion and energy between you and them, okay, is what I'm getting here. Um, 
there is someone in this connection between you and them, someone that has a lot of anxiety. There could be a lot of dreams happening about union, about connection, about being together, about expressing feelings and emotions. Um, so I am going to clarify this a little bit further, but before I do that, I'm going to put, put something else here. <laughs> if you've watched my past readings, sometimes when I have this little empty spot right here, I'm like, I need to put something there. So let's see. Let's see. Pile one. What is, what is happening in your connection? We've got strategy here. So someone's trying to think up a plan here, maybe of what they're going to say, what they're going to do here. Maybe this is someone feeling anxious about doing that. Um, let's actually look at that. Let's explore this Nine of Swords. I hate this glare, you guys. I'm still trying to figure it out because I just moved in this new place and the lighting is not not the business here <laughs> um, because the light is directly on top where in the other place that I had it was behind me so it didn't affect uh, anything but I'm trying to figure it out okay so yeah let's look at this nine of swords why is the nine of swords here and the nine of swords energy this is also Gemini so some of you could be dealing with Gemini. Um, why is the Nine of Swords here? The Ace of Wands is also talking about the potential of a new beginning. So hmm, some of you, if this no contact situation means that you and this person are not together, like you're not in a relationship, um, there is energy here, I feel like, supportive of not only communication, expression of feelings, but potentially having a new beginning between you and this person. So that might mean reconciliation for some of you. Okay, let's see. Someone may also be wanting to make things right in a situation. Um, why is the Nine of Swords here? We've got, what is this? The two of wands in reverse. There's a little bit of some unstable energy here surrounding a decision, a choice. So someone's feeling a little bit wobbly here <laughs> with regard to saying something, doing something, taking action here. Why is the nine of swords here? The magician. Yep. Yeah. Because there's interest here in creating something, manifesting something, mm, bringing something into reality, into the physical world. Why is the, some of you could be dealing with what we've got again, um, Virgo and Gemini energy. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Someone is afraid of coming forward here. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. This is when we are thinking negative thoughts about something. We, we're holding ourselves back. So someone's holding back here from, like I said, potentially messaging, communicating, expressing feelings, expressing interest. So some of you, this could even be like a work crush where you work with somebody or you go to school with somebody or, you know, um, someone feels nervous about coming forward and, and uh, expressing that. Okay. There's a, a very intense energy here. And whoever this is, the Eight of Swords, again, Gemini energy, uh, Two of Pentacles is Capricorn. Um but it feels like someone is afraid, is is having mixed feelings here about coming forward. And for some of you, especially since we're doing a no contact reading, if, if this person is your ex or someone that you used to date, they could be feeling nervous about coming forward, reconciling, um, starting over again. 
Okay. But like I said, I feel like with the eight of wands being here, the energy is supportive of union, reconnecting, potential for a new beginning, um, <clears throat> or for the first time, you know, for some of you, it could just be like, like I said, those of you that are, this is a work crush situation where you guys are like flirty with each other or giving each other eyes, but then no one says anything, you know, <laughs> there's like unspoken interest attraction uh desire the sun is also a beautiful energy and you you started out with the sun you know the sun is about joy and happiness and fulfillment bliss abundance um so it makes me feel with strategy here this is kind of giving me emperor energy where someone is uh trying to create a plan trying to uh take the decisive action um Let's actually see. I want to look at the strategy here. What What is the strategy here, Spirit? The Four of Swords. This is a lot of reflection here. Because this is non-action, the Four of Swords. This is non-action, no communication. So in this non-communicate, non, no contact situation, someone is reflecting and thinking about what they're going to do. What is the strategy here? Seven of Pentacles. This is taking time to reassess, reevaluate. Some of you with the Seven of Pentacles, this is symbolic of you and this person having already investing time and energy into the connection. And, you know, this is basically where we take a pause and we say, okay, do I want to continue to invest here? Mm, are things happening the way that I like them to? This is where we take that time to look at what we've already built, so what we've already invested here. And is it worth it to continue invest? Um, what else? What is the strategy here? The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles would be about, in this case, I feel like, like it's saying whether or not someone is going to make a move because the four of pentacles is when you know somebody could be afraid of taking a risk uh like kind of staying in the comfort zone um i'm also feeling there is a fear of it almost makes me feel like a fear of change here like changing whatever the current situation is between the two of you and putting in more effort here let's see what else is strategy here what is this spirit what is that the high priestess the high priestess we've got pisces energy taurus the high priestess is about going within it's, oh, it's also a withdrawn energy so i mean clearly we're doing a no contact the person's withdrawn no contact, taking some time to reflect on what their intuition is telling them in this situation. Um, let's look at this Ace of Wands here. The Wheel of Fortune. This almost kind of makes me feel that the universe is bring, especially for those of you where this is somebody you've already dealt with. It's almost like the universe is saying, try again, <laughs> try again. How about you try this again? How about you give this connection another chance? Um, because the Wheel of Fortune is about fate. It's about destiny. It's also about going with the flow. It's about cycles. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is also very unpredictable energy. So your person could be also someone, like I said, there's a lot of going back and forth, having mixed feelings, weighing their options, making choices. There's a little bit of instability here with that two of wands in reverse surrounding making the choice, whether that means reaching out and contacting you, whether that means uh, reconciliation here. Uh, why is the ace of wands here, spirit? Look at this, you guys, the two of cups. Okay, so there's definitely, most definitely a connection that's here. 
And I feel it is mutual. It's, it, there's, it's on both sides. So what's the problem? <laughs> what is the problem? Um, well, I will say this. With justice, justice is where we are making decisions and choices that serve our best and highest good. Okay? So this person could be deciding. I mean, you could even be deciding that, right? Do I want this connection? Do I want to continue it to invest here? This feels like a faded connection between you and this person. There's definitely an emotional connection between the two of you. It could be mutual love, mutual passion. Um, and those of you where this person is from your past, it feels like the divine is stepping in to say, mm, try again, <laughs> do this again. Let's revisit this. You guys have something here. Let's make it work. So someone here with that high priestess energy is connected into their higher self, their inner knowing, trying to help to navigate. And I feel like this is something, like I said, that's felt on both sides here. It's very beautiful. Um, what do I want to do? Mm, let's look at that Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Two of Cups, that's Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune is Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is about longing for someone. Longing, missing them. This feeling the distance. Anticipation, waiting. You're waiting to hear from them, waiting to, um, for them to return. Uh, some of you, there could literally be distance here with the three of wands. Okay. The three of wands is also about when we take that first step. And we're just kind of, we've, hmm. You know what this kind of makes me feel like? Okay, let's, let's, um... Okay, we've got a no contact situation. The three of wands, because we have the two of wands here, right? That's about a choice, making the choice. The three of wands is when we have, someone has made a choice here. This makes me feel like you may have taken a step or they could have like uh, someone who messages someone. Like you send a message to them in the no contact and this three of wands could be you're anticipating them to contact you back or um, make the next move. You know, you may have been someone who's put your feelings out there, expressed how you felt, and now you're kind of waiting because someone has invested work here. Um, with that, let's see what else. What is this eight of pentacles here? The hangman. So it's kind of left things on hold. Pisces energy. It's it's left things on hold. There's an energy of surrender here as well. Like there's anticipation and waiting, but it's also like I'm letting go. I, I'm, I'm not going to obsess over this situation. I'm going to trust in divine timing that the universe is bringing us back together. Okay. The uh, hangman is also about changing or shifting perspective, you know, taking a step back, withdrawing our energy from a person so we can say, okay, how do I feel? Do I miss them? Do I love them? <laughs> do I, do I want to build a life with them? Do I want a relationship? Okay. Let's see. Why is the eight of pentacles here? The Ten of Swords. Some of you, this could have been um, a breakup that you might have had with this person. Um, there's also a lot of healing, okay? Someone could have been healing. Things could have been on hold because both of you may have decided, okay, we're both going to work on ourselves and just kind of leave it up to the divine. It feels like a, a very beautiful connection that you have with this person. And underneath the deck, I'm seeing the Empress and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so 
Beautiful, beautiful energy. Pile one. What is under that? The King of Swords, the Page of Swords, Princess of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, it kind of makes me feel there's a lot of energy here. This may have been rejection. I'm seeing Five of Pentacles. That's abandonment, being ghosted, or somebody coming forth with some type of offer, opportunity, or even the universe giving an opportunity here, and someone may have been closed off to it, you know, shutting the other out, even though there was this intensity here. Some of you may have been sending messages trying to get this person's attention or they could have been doing the same thing to you. It's it's like there is resistance here. Someone being far more open and expressive than the other, I feel like. Someone be far more expressive and open with their feelings and the other person having some difficulties with being just as open, just as vulnerable, even though feelings, romantic feelings are on both sides. You both feel it. You both know it's there. You both know the connections there. There's indecision here. Interesting. Okay. What do we do now, spirit? Let's mm, let's go into these oracle here. Okay. No contact. What is happening here? Makes me feel like someone's in denial of, or someone has been in denial of their feelings. And the universe is, like I said, saying, hello, <laughs> you have this connection with this person. Open your eyes, open your heart. Listen to what we're telling you. <laughs> um, this person is faded, I feel. I'm definitely getting like very... Um, Soulmate, twin flame, potentially for some of you. This could be your, your divine counterpart. Okay, let's see. What is happening in pile one's no contact connection? Miscommunication. A miscommunication. Interesting, because you have the eight of wands there. Communication is there. Messages may have been sent. Maybe it's speaking of your last contact with this person. Maybe there was a miscommunication. Let's see. I mean, that could even be something with um, not um, being able to express feelings, emotions, not being able to put it into words. Okay. Miscommunicating feelings. We have ascension here is happening. Ascension. Uh, maybe perhaps some of you are going through a spiritual awakening or this person is. Hmm. I mean, we do have the eight of pentacles here. The eight of pentacles is about self mastery. It's about working on yourself, becoming a better version of yourself. So improving, maturing is what's happening here. You, your person becoming a better version of yourself. What else, Spirit? What is happening in Pile One's connection? A runner. We've got a runner. Forgiveness. Maybe some of you, they could have run from you. You could have run from them. You know, either one of you could be holding the energy of forgiveness, like, okay, they hurt me, they ran, I forgive them. <laughs> now bring them back. Bring them back to me, universe. Um, let's see what else. Regrets. Regrets. There could be regrets for running here. I mean, you could be the person who ran and have regrets here. Wanting forgiveness. Maybe there's an apology coming for some of you. Look at that. Reconciliation. That's what I said. I feel like we have stuck here. Why is it stuck? Well, we have stuck energy here. That makes sense. Someone's unstable here with regard to making the decision. 
This energy is withdrawn. Okay. We have released the past. And so into you. So into you. I'm seeing stagnation at the bottom. Okay. Which that's what the, uh, what do you call that? The, um, the hangman is. It's stagnation. It's things not progressing. It's things just kind of stuck in limbo on hold. We've got stuck and stagnation here. Releasing the past. I mean, this could be stuff that's happened between you and them. Or it can be that the person or you, anybody, someone is still holding on to energies of the past that are um, creating blockages here. Okay. So I feel like I want to get some advice for you to close out your reading. Uh, where is my other tarot deck? Let's see. What is your, I mean, I feel honestly, this connection is faded. It's going to come around again. Um, I feel like Spirit is saying here, the energy is supportive of reconciliation. There's a need for you to be patient. Okay. Because someone is working through some stuff. I feel like it could be then, you know, you're watching the reading. So, hmm. Let's look at, let's, before we do that, let's look at the energy surrounding reconciliation to see where we're at. What is the energy surrounding reconciliation? The devil. This is fear. That is fear. Fear, doubt. We've got the page of swords. There could be fears over communication. Um, needing more information. Capricorn. Some of you Capricorn. We've got the five of cups here. There is a feeling of loss. A feeling of feeling hopeless, sad, depressed, regret, guilt. We've got regret here. I'm also seeing the nine of wands at the bottom, which is very wounded, very guarded. So this person can be someone who is wounded and hurt, you know, from the connection and uh, maybe afraid of reconciling, having doubts about reconciliation. Um, this might have something to do with what you guys have experienced together. Or like I said, it's someone who is hurt from their own past, okay? working towards releasing past energies. And this is the reason that they have this fear here. So with the page, there's a little bit of skepticism here. Okay. So we've definitely got some stuck energy here when it comes to reconciliation because the devil is an oppressive energy. It keeps us stuck, trapped in fear, in insecurity, in self-limiting beliefs. Um, addictions, uh, unhealthy patterns of behavior. Okay. So we're stuck pile one. We're stuck, but you know, I feel like with the high priestess being here, it is a lot of going within and you're, yes, there's energy here. That's a little bit unpredictable here with regards to, I feel like the timing as well as their decision here. But there is there is feelings that are on both sides. Like I said, for some of you, I kind of feel like this person is in denial of their feelings. Okay? So let's ask Spirit here, and I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune again at the bottom. What is Pile One's advice on this connection? To close out their reading, what is their advice on this connection? The Six of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> the Six of Swords is about moving on. Okay. It's about removing yourself away from chaotic energies or ways of thinking. So if this person is stuck right now and things are kind of on hold, there is a need for you to surrender to that. Okay. And trust in divine timing. If this person is someone who has detached themselves and pulled away from you, you have to pull away too. You have to pull back your energy and focus on yourself. Okay. What is pile one's advice here? Eight of pentacles. That's exactly it. Pull back 
work on yourself. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Swords. Yep. Queen of Swords is about um, staying in a clear headspace, logical mind, right? Because the logic of this be right now, okay, clear, rational thinking. We're not letting feelings and emotions overwhelm us and cloud our judgment because you might really love this person. And those emotions can keep you obsessed, stuck, uh, you know, watching too many pick a card readings, okay? <laughs> watching too many. Um, so you need to keep yourself in this clear headspace so that you can think clearly, see the situation clearly, okay? Because even if, it is your divine counterpart, okay? If they're not taking action right now, they have not reached out to you, they have not messaged you, they haven't approached you, you know, any of that, twin flame or not, soulmate or not, you have to stay in a clear head space to see the situation for what it is right now, okay? So if there's nothing happening and it's stuck, right? We've got stuck energy, stagnation, all of this blocked energy surrounding reconciliation, even though there is the consideration for it, you can't do anything yet, right? The only thing that you can do is keep your headspace clear, focused on you, building up your pentacles. Maybe that's working on your career. Maybe you're building up financial security for yourself, okay? Um... Yeah, I, I feel like some of you might receive communication, you know, fairly quickly from this person for for a new beginning. I'm seeing the Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Justice, and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, but there is still this restrictive energy here. So Spirit's saying, be patient. Knight of Cups again. Okay, Knight of Cups is here again. That was the first card that we pulled. These limitations, remember we have the Eight of Swords, I think, under here too. But in this Eight of Swords, this guy here, which I look at this card. This is the After Tarot. I look at this guy that's cutting away these ties around her that he's like telling her, uh, this is her higher self, telling her you don't have to restrict yourself because this is self-imposed we do this to ourselves. we we keep ourselves stuck in negative thinking worst case scenario right so to me it's like her higher self is giving her a pep talk and telling her you don't have to hold yourself back so this to me is what is um, being worked on within your person okay is letting go of the resistance and that takes time temperance is about alchemizing energies balancing energies there's a need for us to be patient okay so like i said some of you might be receiving news fairly quickly because we do have the eight of wands and the knight of swords here these are very fast moving energies okay um some of you i'm getting you might receive communication by november eighth okay i'm also getting the 11th the 14th okay uh, some of you it might even be sagittarius season when you're receiving communication but i'm getting scorpio sagittarius some of you it might even be a lot faster than that it could even be within the next eight days okay that is your advice <laughs> pile one Okay, so that is all that I have for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 2. So those of you that resonated with this moon card, Pisces energy, and the little turquoise, this is going to be a reading today. So we're finding out no contact, what is happening in your connection. Um, and this was, for those of you that didn't watch it, I pulled this card to ask Spirit what was the uh, overall energy in your connection. And we have the moon. The moon is about anxiety, fears, uh, things being not clear. 
uncertainty, doubt. Um, there can also be hidden feelings, emotions. Um, the moon can also be illusion and deception. So I want, well, when we pull the tarot, we'll kind of see a little bit more, but this could just be, there's a lot of uncertainty here, a lot of unknowns. Um, I mean, we are doing no contact, so let's see. The moon is also about our intuition, so let's see. Pile number two, what is happening in your connection with your person? No contact. What is happening in pile two's connection? We have the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the hermit, Virgo. Seven of Cups, okay. Seven of Cups. We've got Scorpio energy. What is happening? The Death card. Okay. More Scorpio. What is happening in pile number two's connection? The Ten of Cups. What is going on here? Hmm. What is happening in pile two's connection with their person? No contact. The Chariot. Cancer. We've got more Pisces energy with that Ten of Cups. King of... What is this? King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. What is happening? The Four of Swords. Well, okay. So Four of Swords energy is about healing. It's also about non-action, no contact. It's a period of reflection. Um, I am seeing the death card here. So some of you, this could have been a relationship that has ended. Um, being that we also have the King of Pentacles energy here in reverse. The King of Pentacles is an energy that is not dependable, not grounded, not stable, it can also be about a relationship, a commitment that has ended, okay? Um, or it could be that there is a lack of stability here within this connection, okay? A lack of stability, a lack of groundedness, maybe someone who is not ready for commitment. It could also be a situation here. We do have the Queen of Wands which is about passion, it's about desire, attraction, chemistry. And I'm also seeing the hermit. And the hermit is about someone who could be withdrawn, spending time in solitude, choosing solitude, choosing to withdraw their energy from you. Um, this is about taking time to heal, to reflect, to do some introspection here. The Seven of Cups is about... Confusion, okay, which also is the moon energy too. The moon can also be about confusion. The seven of cups can be a card of choices, options, feeling overwhelmed, uh, not knowing what decision to make. The seven of cups can also be about fantasizing, dreaming, thinking about someone. You know, even after something has ended, it could be that you are confused. Maybe some of you, there was... Uh, questioning like why did this end why did this person go no contact with me um, <clears throat> I feel like I want a little bit more clarification here especially because we have the ten of cups here this is I, I'm not sure why this is here I mean the ten of cups can be about a beautiful you know it's a card of fulfillment a card of happiness um 
And it makes me feel like the two of you had a beautiful connection with each other. Some of you, there could be distance here with the chariot. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have a Libra energy here. So I'm going to clarify, but I want to add something else here. What is happening in pile number two's connection with their person? I've also got Cancer, if I didn't say that. The sixth chakra. This is the third eye. This is about intuition. It's about um, reflecting. I'm seeing the financial constraints at the bottom. Uh, this card reminds me of the Five of Pentacles, which is about abandonment, isolation, being shut out by someone. So some of you, this person could have ghosted you. They could have abandoned you. They could have abandoned the connection, the relationship. They could, you know, someone could be confused about their feelings here. Being that the Seven of Cups is also about options, if you're connecting with somebody who does date other people, you know, they could feel a very strong attraction to you that makes them very happy, but they might be confused about whether or not they even want a commitment, they want a partnership, they want a relationship here. So let's clarify. Let's look at this a little bit more. It looks potentially like something that was not able to move forward or progress maybe some of you into a committed relationship. Okay. Maybe a person confused about whether or not they want to pursue a relationship or they're just not ready for it. Maybe they do want to explore other options. Interesting. Okay. Let's look. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Fool. Okay. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith. It is about a new beginning, about um, releasing fear and just kind of going for it. So let's see. What else? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Princess of Pentacles. That is the Page of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. Okay. So the Four of Wands would be about a reunion. It could be reconciliation. And the Page of Pentacles here is about planting the seed for something new. So with the Seven of Cups with that, I feel like what this is Spirit is saying is that someone, with what is happening in this connection, which is our question today, someone is thinking about whether or not they want to be in a committed relationship, take the risk and just kind of go for it. Okay. Uh, let's look at this King of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priestess. Pisces. We've also got Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius energy. Six of Wands. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whoever the person is, and I'm going to assume it's them because you're the one watching the reading. Whoever the person is that had been, say, fearful of commitment, unsure of commitment, has ended the, the connection between the two of you, this person has romantic feelings. Okay? They do. They have romantic feelings here. And I feel like right now they're in a place where they're thinking about whether or not they want to reciprocate energy towards you, meaning investing into the relationship. Okay. Especially if you're someone who wants commitment with this person, 
this person is taking time to reflect because they see I feel like this person thinks you're you're really attractive. Okay? You're 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 very attractive to this person. They are happy when they spend time with you. They feel there's a connection there. But this feels like this person is going with inside of themselves with the high priestess energy, which is also the intuition. A lot of intuitive energy here. The moon, the sixth chakra, which is the third eye, the high priestess is here. And uh, the um, hermit is about reflecting in introspection, looking for answers, right? And you can only find those answers with inside of yourself, not outside of you. So the six of pentacles is about reciprocal energy. It's about equal give and take in a partnership. So it makes me feel like the person who was unsure of the relationship, they have feelings here. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at the chariot. Why is the chariot here? <clears throat> this person has feelings towards you. Pile two. Five of swords. This is self-sabotage. Some of you might have had a fight, an argument, a disagreement. Not so nice words that were exchanged. Let's see. Why is the chariot here? Eight of Pentacles. Some of you might work with this person, or this person could be working on themselves, especially if they are someone who does have a tendency to self sabotage, push you away even though there was a connection here and they just kind of pushed you away because they were too afraid of commitment, of putting their feelings out there, of talking about them, of, of, of letting you know that they're attracted to you. Uh, what else? What else? Let's look at this Four of Swords. Page of Wands. This person is reflecting about whether or not to message you, to contact you. It's a very flirty energy. It's excited. It's passionate. So it's like you do excite this person. Oh, <laughs> I'll do. You're, you're very attractive to them. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Hangman. Yep, there's indecision here surrounding messaging you, contacting you. This Eight of Swords is them holding themselves back. Okay. So I feel like you might be questioning, like, do they like me? Are they attracted to me? Do they have feelings? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm. It makes me feel like there's a fear of commitment here. Ooh, why is the death card here? And if you've already been with this person and this person is your ex, then they can be, you know, afraid of reconciliation, afraid of getting back together. You know, especially, I will say, especially if you guys have a tendency to fight with each other and not get along, you know, because what's going to happen if you get back together? You guys going to end up in the same place? Five of Swords again? Fighting, not getting along, saying mean things to each other. Okay. Let's see. Why is the death card here? I mean, this could be words and actions that are hurtful. You know, this is the five of swords can also be resentment. Um, especially for those of you where you actually have a history with this person, a past with them. They could be holding on to resentment, something you said, something you did. I mean, it could be something that you feel too. Like, I resent them right now for hurting me or for doing something to me. Okay? But I also feel like there's an energy here of this person trying to free themselves and move past the energy of self-sabotage. We've got the magician here. Why is the death card here? Ace of Wands. Uh, Five of 
cups. There's a feeling of regret, guilt, um, loss. Now, <clears throat> this might have nothing to do with you, okay, for some of you, especially if you don't have a history with this person. But this makes me feel like someone has a lot of subconscious fears, insecurities. If this Five of Cups has nothing to do with you, the Five of Cups is very heavy feelings, emotions, grief, pain, sadness, loss, depression, feeling hopeless. You know, and if that has nothing to do with you, then this is something this person is working on healing with inside of themselves. And it may be the reason why they're afraid of commitment. Because they've already been devastated in terms of their heart space. So it's like, I'm attracted to you and I like being with you and spending time with you, but I'm afraid of getting hurt again. You know, but I feel like with the Ace of Wands here, the magician, this person feels that there is attraction. There is chemistry. There is potential. For this connection. For them to be really happy with you. But something has to change. This person might have regrets. Especially if they've left you. Or stopped talking to you. You know something like that. Um, let's see what's going on with this sixth chakra here. The third eye. What is this sixth chakra here spirit? The Hierophant. The Hierophant um, could be about commitment. It could be about beliefs that someone has. Their beliefs about love. Which could be self-limiting here. Why is the third eye here? Seven of Pentacles. This person is taking time to evaluate, reassess. Is it worth it for me to invest time and energy here? Some of you, this person could be feeling frustrated. Okay, especially if you guys are not getting along. Okay, that won't be all of you, but some of you where you actually have a history with this person. They could be frustrated. The moon again, we've got the moon here twice. This is uncertainty, doubt, fear. Okay. Uh, let's look at the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> I'm also getting with the Four of Pentacles energy here. <sighs> this person does not want to be forced, okay? I'm getting for something. This person doesn't want to be forced into doing something they're not ready to do. Um, for some of you, this person is afraid of losing you. Okay, there's a fear of loss here. Um, I'm also getting a fear of taking a risk with this here, which would be the Fool, the Four of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, which is about starting over. Something tangible, giving more, because... When we can compare the Page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, the Page is like the bare minimum, okay? And if you've already, you know, have history with this person and they're still giving you Page of Pentacles energy, that's breadcrumbs. But if it's something new for you, that's, you know, it could be a new start. We could look at it that way. The Page would be starting small, building up until the King, which would be something long-term, Something you can depend on, like me and this person are building a life with each other, okay? So Page of Pentacles energy really depends on how much history you have with them. If you've been dating them for two years and you guys are still not exclusive and the person's giving you Page of Pentacles energy, we need to cut it off, <laughs> okay? We need to cut it off. Um, but if it's something new where you have no history with them and the Page of Pentacles is a good thing. Because we're starting somewhere. We're starting with something tangible. Okay? So take that how it resonates. But let's see. Why is the hermit here? F look at that. Five of Pentacles. That's abandonment. That's shutting you out. Ghosting. Abandoning. 
I mean, they could be someone who has a fear of abandonment, you know, so I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me. I'm going to leave you before you leave me. Um, insecure. Five of Pentacles is also insecure. This person could be insecure. Insecurities, which is also the moon. Why is the hermit here? Knight of Wands. Some of you, I'm kind of getting that you could be dealing with somebody who does literally have a fear of commitment here. You know, the Knight of Wands can sometimes get a little bit of a bad rap. It could be someone who is a player, okay? Someone who is not ready to settle down. I mean, some of you, this could be like a friends with benefits situation or a situationship, you know? Hmm. Okay, so let's move on to Oracle. Let's see what else is coming through. Hmm. And it feels like there's intensity, there's passion here, there's attraction, there's desire, but are they not willing to give you more is kind of what I'm getting here. Like someone who's like, I'm willing to, to, to play around or to date you or to hook up with you, but I'm not ready to be in a relationship, you know? Okay, let's see. What is happening in your connection with your no contact person? Trust issues. That's the five of pentacles. It can also be something that's within their moon energy because this is our subconscious fears, insecurities. Could also be a reason why a person self-sabotages or says not so nice things because there are trust issues that are there. Um, we have let go. Trust issues and let go. What is happening in pile number two's no contact? Karmic. Karmic, let go. And also spice things up. Okay, I'm just going to say, <clears throat> some of you, literally, this could be a person who is karmic. There could be karmic um, cycles that you and this person are going through. Or this could literally just be a karmic partner. Okay. Um, some of you, I don't know that I'm really seeing that here, though. I don't really feel like I feel and see energy of third party, but you never know. Some of you with the karmic energy here and spice things up, let go. It kind of makes me feel like some of you might be in a situation where this person is involved with a karmic partner that they have not let go of yet. They could be afraid of letting that person go and they could be connecting with you just to spice things up, <laughs> just to kind of bring some excitement into their life. And maybe that is... I mean, they could act be acting very karmic too. Like, especially if they are someone who doesn't want to commit and they're just looking to have fun, a good time. They could be acting very karmic in their behaviors. Okay, let's see what else. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. You know your situation better than I do with this general reading. We have an offer here. What is happening in your connection with your person? Rejection. Teamwork. Is this person kind of like in a way refusing to collaborate with you in some way? Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys work together. Deception. Is this person deceiving you? We have lessons and crossroads. Maybe some of you quite literally this is a, a karmic relationship. But we have deception here. I don't really think that I saw any dis well, you know what? The moon is can be deceptive. It could be hiding things, being secretive. Let's look at that actually. Maybe this person has rejected you. They've rejected your offer. There's lessons here though. We've got karmic and we've got lessons. So Maybe the two of you are going through karmic lessons, but basically with the connection at a crossroads, I mean, you each have a choice to make here. Let it go or continue to try to pursue it. And that may be the crossroads that they're at too. They could also be deceiving themselves or deceiving you, or you could be deceiving yourself if this person has already rejected you. If this person is not willing to settle down, has ghosted you, has blocked you, has abandoned you, has gone no contact with you, you could also be 
deceiving yourself in a way of not seeing the situation clearly with this person, you know? If there's someone who's not willing to commit to you, there could be, like I said, you deceiving yourself. Because we do have the moon here, you know? The moon can be very deceptive. It creates an illusion. All is not as it seems. There could be illusions surrounding this connection with this person, okay? So let's see. What is this deception here? What is the deception, spirit? Justice. Justice is karma. A karmic energy. Justice is also about, fa about balance. About treating people fairly. About doing the right thing. It's about honesty. So maybe for some of you, this person is not being honest with you. They're not treating you fairly or you're not treating them fairly. Could be vice versa. Justice is honesty. It's truth. It's, um, let's see what else. What is this deception here? I mean, justice is also about a contract, commitment, potentially. The world in reverse. Some of you, <clears throat> this could be a situation that's already done and over. And you could be deceiving yourself into thinking that there is unfinished business between you and this person. And there's really not. It may be a situation where it is what it is. This person is someone who's not ready for love, not ready for commitment. They're not ready to settle down for some of you. And you know if that's you based off of what this person's behavior is. Okay? If they're not being good to you, they're not treating you right. They're avoiding talking to you, avoiding commitment, avoiding taking any accountability. You know if that's you, you know? The world in reverse is that whole unfinished business type of thing. And maybe there are still karmic energies that, that are existing, you know? Something is not finished here with regards to the energy of justice. And justice is about karmic lessons. And we have that here. Karmic lessons. So maybe mm, this makes me feel if you're still dealing with this person after they may have already rejected you, abandoned you, you're still cling you might still be clinging on to this person. You know? In that case, are you deceiving yourself? Are you stuck in that moon energy? You know? And that might be the case for some of you. Not seeing the situation for what it really is. If the person is not committing, you know, they're dating other people, they're flirting with other people, they don't want to commit, they're breadcrumbing you. Let's see, why is deception here, spirit? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Seven of swords. That is deception. The seven of swords is cheating. It's betrayal. It's um, sneakiness. Somebody has sneaky behavior. Trying to get away with something. It is an illusion. It's like this the person, look at literally, the person's going to like hang themselves with that. He's like the Seven of Swords guy, he's going to step right into that little uh, noose there, whatever you call it. You know, it's like this person's actions are getting them in trouble. Or because the Seven of Swords can also be when our, uh, we're anxious, we're avoidant. You know, so it makes me feel like don't let this person's behavior, don't let it deceive you. Don't let this person deceive you. Okay. Why is deception here? Queen of Swords, look at that. I love that. She showed up. High Priestess. It's like Spirit saying to you here, <coughs> you need to be the Queen of Swords here. Okay, Pile 2. The Queen of Swords is about seeing the truth. And this is not truth right there. There's deception here surrounding this. So some of you might be caught up in a karmic situation with this person. Could be a karmic lesson that you're meant to learn and then let them go. Right? The Queen of Swords sees right through that Seven of Swords because she knows the truth. Why? Because she's intuitive. She's emotionally intelligent. The high priest is, is about you trusting your gut feeling about this person. Okay. Some of you might be needing to see through this person's lies, through their BS, through
through their games, through their manipulation, whatever it might be. Okay, don't deceive yourself. You have to be the queen of swords here and you have to make the best possible decision you can make for yourself because I feel for some of you, you're keeping yourself stuck in a karmic cycle with this person. Okay, and if this person is someone who has a tendency to deceive, to lie, to run away, to avoid, to abandon, to do all of these things, there's a need for you to see the truth of it, you know? And some of you, that might mean walking away. Look at how this page is walking away from this lady here. Some of you might need to do that. What is the Seven of Swords? The Hierophant. This person's avoidant of commitment, running away from commitment. They can also be, I don't know, some of you that you might be dealing with a person who is married. They could be hiding that they're committed to someone else or they are committed to someone else and you're holding on to this person. And they're deceiving you saying, oh yeah, I'm going to leave my partner. I'm going to leave them. Don't worry. We're going to be together. Don't fall for that. Okay. Especially if you keep yourself stuck for a year, two years, three years. Trust me, I hear it. I do readings every single day, all day long in these situations. Okay. So don't take that message if it's not for you. But if that is your situation, you know, some of you, this person is running away, avoidant of commitment. Don't let that energy deceive you into, you know, if they're not ready, they're not ready. You can't force them and make them ready for commitment. Okay. They're, they could be doing all and saying all the right things to you because that Knight of Wands is a little, you know what, you know, the Knight of Wands could tell you what you want to hear to keep you on the hook. Okay, to get you right back in where they want you and they don't have to commit. They have what they want. Okay, so yes, you have to be the queen of swords, I feel like, in this situation. And if you're noticing the same cycle keeps happening over and over and over again, see the truth of the situation. Okay, pull back your energy. Trust your intuition is what spirit is saying here. Um... This person, I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody who's afraid of commitment, running away, avoiding of it, choosing solitude, choosing to be single, stay single, not sure of what they want right now. Some of you, they could be healing and focusing on themselves and just kind of avoiding commitment altogether. See that. Those are the facts of the situation, right? Don't get yourself caught up into thinking, oh, there's unfinished business here and, you know, stuff like that. If you know... What based off of their actions are showing you, they're not talking to you. They're not taking action. Be the queen of swords. She sees right through the BS, right through the lies, right through the manipulation, right through to the truth of the situation. Okay. So what is pile two's advice on this connection? We have the lovers. What is pile two's advice? Three of swords. Nine of Swords. Well, we have judgment here. Judgment is about you making a big decision here. Some of you might be needing to end this with this person. Okay. Because the Three of Swords, this is a card of healing. It can also be a card of pain, betrayal, heartache, suffering. Um... You know, you could be looking for commitment or waiting and feeling anxious. Like, when is this person going to commit? When are they going to reach out to me? When are they going to this? When are they going to that? And it's like spirit saying, I feel like there's a lot of karma here. A lot of karmic lessons that are here for you. So in judgment is about reviewing what you've learned from the karmic cycle that you've gone through with this person. What has it taught you? That is what this is about. What, what are you learning? Right? Judgment gives us these lessons. Well, this is, I mean, justice is here. That is the karmic lesson that's there. Karmic lessons you already have here with the oracle. Judgment is where you say, okay, 
what is my past with this person? How have they treated me? How have I treated them? What could I have done better? What could they have done better? Um, what do they continue to do? You know, how am I feeling right now? Am I holding on to pain? Am I holding on to heartache? Judgment is where we review all of it to say, okay, what is the best decision I can make for myself? Is it better for me to leave this person in the past? And although it's painful, this person is better not in my life. And I can heal and I can separate myself from this person's energy and I can move on. Okay, or you keep yourself in the same cycle again. And this is kind of what I'm getting here is that some of you are, are stuck in a karmic cycle with this person. With that world in reverse is basically saying there's something that has not been learned yet. So we're going to keep doing this and doing this and doing this until pile number two sees. As the Queen of Swords does see the truth. Okay, so of course, this is your decision. Are you ready? Have you learned the lesson here? Were you able to see through this person's illusion? Okay. It's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you with judgment here. This is your decision. The judgment is also us having a wake-up call. Okay. About this person. About this situation. Okay. All right, so that is all that I have for you. Pile number two, I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with this beautiful card here, the seven of cups and this little marine agate, this is going to be a reading. So we're doing no contact reading today. We are finding out uh, what is happening in your connection. And for those of you that did not see me pull this card, I was basically asking spirit when I pulled this, what is the energy in your connection with your person? Okay. So the seven of cups is about fantasizing. It's about, can sometimes be about illusions. Uh, it could, it's a card of options, choices, confusion, um, feeling overwhelmed. Okay. Um, so let's... getting sidetracked hold on a second guys <laughs> I'm having a tv delivered right now and the guy I might have to take a break because the guy's delivering it in about 10 minutes so I might have to pause your video let's look at what is happening in your connection what is happening in pile number three's connection you guys might also hear noise in the background too if they come into the house and they're noisy um, but my husband's taking care of it. So let's see. Pile three. What is happening in your connection? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Death card. What is happening in pile number three is no contact. Scorpio, we've got the Emperor Aries. The Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Hmm. We also have Capricorn and Aries energy here too. What is happening in pile three's connection? Every single pile got the eight of pentacles today. Hmm. Five of wands. What is happening? The Hermit and also the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I wanted to pull another card for you guys, but you guys got an extra tarot card here. So I'm going to make some room. 
And let's pull this other card. Let's see. We've also got Virgo energy here, Leo. And Scorpio, okay. Uh, what is happening in pile number three's connection? The fourth chakra, that is the heart chakra. I'm definitely going to need, I think, clarification here. It looks like with the death card here, there is some type of ending or some type of change that has happened, obviously, in your connection with this person. I'm also getting an energy here where someone is more self-focused. They could be focusing on career, money, independence, stability, choosing solitude. They could be someone who's kind of like choosing work over love I'm definitely feeling with the three of wands here some of you this could be distance between you and this person like physical distance it could be like an online connection I feel like I want to clarify this heart chakra here first It makes me feel like this person is not revealing anything to you with the emperor energy. The emperor is not really good with expressing or showing feelings or any kind of anything, <laughs> anything. But we have the ace of pentacles here, which is potentially a new beginning here. The emperor is also about strategy, about planning, about discipline and focus, organization. And you have the knight of pentacles energy here. The Knight of Pentacles moves very slowly. Um, and the reason that it moves very slowly is because it's being very cautious with how uh, one makes decisions. They want to make sure that they're making the right decision. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow, kind of like taking little baby steps to make sure that every step that they take moving forward with whatever they do in their life is going to be the best decision for them. So it kind of gives me this impression here of this person being unsure about whether or not they even want a relationship. Because they could be feeling like, I want to focus on myself right now. I want to focus on my money. I want to focus on my career. Some of you might work with this person. This person might be a boss or someone who's in a position of power. Somebody that's older, wiser. We do have the hermit and the emperor. They can also be someone who's older than you. There could be an age gap here. Okay. I, I feel like I want to clarify this heart chakra and the seven of cups. Because, I mean, there could be a confusion for you as well as for them. The Seven of Cups is about options. What are my options? Um, and I feel like with the Three of Wands, there's also this energy of anticipation, waiting. You could be waiting to hear from them, obviously, because this is no contact. You could be wondering, like, what does this person feel? You know, confused. Okay, why is the Seven of Cups here? The Five of Cups. You could be feeling sad. You know, especially if this person has gone no contact with you. The Five of Cups is a feeling of grief. Loss. There could also be regret here. If this person has regret for a decision they've made. Or guilt. Mm -mm. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Seven of Wands. This is also a little bit defensive energy. Defensive. Guarded. Two of Pentacles. Mixed feelings. I'm going to pause, guys, because this person is here in the house. 
Okay, so what I wanted to say with the Two of Pentacles energy here, this is about uh, weighing your options. They may also be somebody who has mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. There might be, with the Seven of Wands energy here, some type of challenge or adversity. Maybe with the two of you guys being together or with them letting their guard down. Let's see. Why is the heart chakra here? The Knight of Swords. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> The death card is also about change. The lovers in reverse. Some of you, this lovers in reverse can symbolize that there has been a breakup. Okay, a breakup. Um, the lovers in reverse can also be when, when someone is trying to force love in a situation. Or it can also be one-sided. A one-sided connection, meaning that one person has stronger romantic feelings and the other person is not with it not on the same page okay it looks like someone is wanting to move the connection forward wanting to contact wanting to talk about feelings wanting something being reciprocated here and one person is not Hmm. Why is the three of wands here? Ten of pentacles and the three of cups. Some person is waiting or anticipating something for the future. Reconciliation. Ten of pentacles, which would be long-term relationship. So someone here is thinking about the future, like will we reconcile in the future? Will we have a, something stable? It kind of gives me the vibe that one person feels like they're not ready for this right now and the other person is, the other person wants it, okay? So take it how it resonates, but this kind of feels like a mixed energy here where one person wants a relationship, wants, you know, being together. And the other person is not so sure about that right now. It's kind of like where they feel, like I said, more self-focused, like I need to focus on myself. I don't know what I want right now. Some of you, this person might be feeling like you guys are not, um, it may not be something that's working right now. But maybe in the future is kind of another energy that I'm getting here, especially for those of you where you guys <clears throat> have feelings. You both have feelings for each other, but maybe having a relationship right now is not something that's possible. But maybe in the future. Okay, is kind of what I'm getting here. Someone feels lost here. Let's see. Why is the hermit here? Why is the Hermit here? Knight of Wands and Queen of Swords. Why is the Hermit here? The world. Yeah, some of you, this could be a long distance connection. Okay, you living in a different place that they live in. There could be uncertainty because of distance. Um, I feel like there is desire here. There's attraction to be with you, but this person is also kind of like in the mind frame of let's think logically here. Let's think logically about this. If mm, there's some type of imbalance in your connection, like one person not being ready for a commitment, not wanting to get back together. Or there is distance that's here. That distance can also be something that's creating stress in the relationship. Hmm.
Hmm, why is this Ace of Pentacles here? It just, I'm kind of just getting this energy like not right now, not right now, not, not now, maybe in the future. <clears throat> Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. Someone is in, avoiding this new beginning or starting over. Maybe feeling insecure about starting over or beginning something. Say even for the first time. Five of Swords. Some of you might have had a fight with this person, an argument. That could have been something that's ended the relationship. There's still feelings that are here. But there can also be challenges to you and this person being together. Some of you might have had an argument or not so nice words were exchanged here. And this could also be a person... Um, a person who could be fearful of going back into that situation, you know. It feels like there's a lot that's changed here. For some of you, there can also be outside influence. Other people involved in this. Maybe family, maybe friends. It could be a commitment. There could be some of you, there could be third party energy here. Like another actual relationship. What is this? Page of Cups in Reverse. Someone might be feeling like they need an apology from someone. They could be holding back. Well, obviously, we're doing no contact. Holding back communication here. There could be resentment still here. Like, if this person has said something to you or done something to you, they could be someone who owes you an apology. And they haven't, said, they haven't come forward to say something or communicate that to you. If you've done something to hurt this person then they may be holding resentment towards you and feeling like that you need to apologize to them. So there's does look like there's energy here of someone who's running away from starting over. Okay. Why is the death card here? So pretty much right now it kind of looks like this person sees that things are done between the two of you is what this feels like. Okay, why is the death card here? Ten of swords in reverse. Yep. There's an ending here. Maybe a bad breakup you and this person went through for some of you. And it's kind of like they're avoiding reconciliation right now. You know? Um, what is this? The queen of wands. One person is wanting to pursue and the other person is not. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Yeah. One person who does, one person who does not. Okay, so let's pull some Oracle here. I apologize, guys, if you hear them talking in the background loud. They're a little loud. What is happening in Pile 3 is connection. We've got, I'm seeing Leo. Leo. We've got serious and sincere. Ignoring you. Whoa. True romance. What is happening? Restrictions, caution, maybe, well, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very cautious. I'm going to look at these more with the tarot. What is happening in pile number three's connection? We have so into you. Finances and career. Like I said, some of this person could be very focused on themselves right now, their job, their work, money. Maybe for some of you, this person is trying to get their finances in order. Second chances, the energy of second chances being here. 
miscommunication between the two of you and also retreat, which is basically someone who's choosing to um, stay by themselves, like uh, spend time alone, think about what they want. I'm seeing crossroads at the bottom. So Spirit basically saying this connection is at a crossroads. Um, we do have true romance here. I mean, we do have the heart chakra. So like I said, I do feel like there are feelings that are here. Maybe you've tried to reach out to this person and be serious and be sincere with them. Maybe they've been ignoring that. Let's clarify. Maybe there's restrictions surrounding communication between the two of you. Like if you guys have each other blocked. Okay. <clears throat> what is this or why? Maybe some of this person is ignoring you. Why, spirit? What? What is... Why is somebody ignoring the fool and the three of cups? Some of you, it's because there's a third party, okay? Maybe, like I said, those of you that are in third party situations, they could be ignoring you because there's another person and they don't want to get caught slipping, literally, <laughs> with the fool. Look at that. He's, like, slipped right off the cliff. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's some a situation for some of you. Um, another reason this Three of Cups is here is about um, communication, socializing with you. So they could be ignoring you because they're not ready to talk. They're not ready to communicate. They're not ready to resolve things with you. They're too afraid of, of, of doing that. Maybe they just don't want to talk right now, you know? They're not ready to repair things. They're not ready to reconcile. Why is ignoring here? The tower. Okay. And the ace of cups. So yes, that to me is like, if there's been a bad breakup between you and this person, they may need to heal. You may need to heal. Um, they could be ignoring you because they're healing. Because they're trying to distract themselves with like focusing on other areas of their life. You know, they could be connecting with other people. They could be dating other people for some of you. They could be um, entertaining new connections, okay? That might be painful to hear for some of you, but that's here, so I have to say it. Um, the tower energy is also very destructive. It's very chaotic. It's unstable. So for some of you, your connection could have been unstable. You know, it could have been very chaotic. And if that is the case, the person could be thinking twice about reconnecting with you. If you guys had a bad argument, a bad fight, you know, or if it was something that caused a lot of issues here, especially for those of you dealing with third party, like if the third party found out about you or, you know, whatever the situation is, the tower is something that creates upheaval, destruction, chaos, um, Oh, let's see, let's see. Let's look at the restrictions here. The chariot. Some of you, it's because of distance here. You know, it could be that you guys are not able to see each other a lot. Um, I mean, they could literally be travel restrictions for you, for them. There could be restrictions surrounding communication here. This person may also be someone who is being very cold towards you. Okay. Very cold. Detached. Guarded. Trying to move on for some of you. Trying not to focus on this tower energy. What is this miscommunication? Three of Wands and the Moon. Mm. Some of you, there could have been miscommunication surrounding what your future was going to be. Okay. Like, you foreseeing a future for the two of you, the other person not giving you clear answers. Like, where is this going? Is it going anywhere? 
I feel like this person also, definitely feeling distance here. This person may also be someone who suppresses a lot, hides their feelings. They could be someone who has doubts or fears or insecurities, anxiety because of some type of communicate miscommunication between the two of you. Let's look at the energy surrounding the second chance here. Nine of Cups in reverse. That's not good. That's not good. Let's look some more. Mm, what is the second chance here? Judgment. Well, second chances. What is this spirit? Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, okay. So basically what this is saying here is that someone is making a big decision here because judgment is about looking to our past. As I say that, I'm seeing the seven of pentacles at the bottom. <clears throat> judgment is basically life review, which means that we are in a situation where you've already had something with this person and now they are reviewing what you guys have gone through, what has been said, what has been done. To decide whether or not this person wants to bring renewal to this connection or if they want to leave it in the past. With the Nine of Cups energy in reverse, this is when someone could be feeling not happy, not fulfilled, not satisfied, um, or feeling like if they take this second chance, it's not going to give them the fulfillment that they really want. We do have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this person is trying to make a decision here about whether or not if coming and returning to you is going to make them happy or not. And being that we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, this can also be when someone has lost faith. Okay? They may have lost faith in your connection. You know, especially if you guys are, like I said, with the Tower energy, if it's chaotic, if it's creating upheaval... If you guys are not getting along with each other, if it's creating destructive energies in your life, in their life, if it's, you know, if there's, like I said, some of you that are dealing with third party situations, would it be something that would disrupt things, you know? So is it even worth it to give it a second chance? This is a loss of faith. Um, sometimes the Nine of Cups can also talk about when we get something, we have something, and it's not as good as we anticipated. It's it, it wasn't fulfilling for us, you know? Some of you might have literally tried to give this connection a second chance and it didn't go so well, okay? So there it goes with the judgment card. This is a big decision, a major life decision with judgment where we have to, you know, the seven of pentacles here, evaluate, reassess. Is it worth it? Because some of you, this person could be feeling frustrated. You could be feeling frustrated. You know, like, wow, I already invested my time and energy. Feelings are involved. I love this person. And, you know, but the Seven of Pentacles is about um, reassessing. Should we continue to invest or do we invest our energy somewhere else? Six of Wands and the world. Eight of Swords is there too. Some of you are like wanting attention from this person. Wanting attention, wanting their attention. But with the world energy, like I said, I kind of just feel like right now this person sees as things just done, you know. But I mean, the four of wands and the ten of cups is here know that this person right now could be deciding. I mean, you could even be the person who's making the decision here about whether or not you want to allow this person into your life again. This could be you. You know, where you feel frustrated, like, sh should I even do this? Is it even worth it? I'm also, Spirit's also telling me here, someone may have sabotaged this connection. Either one of you. Somebody may have self-sabotage because of 
past things that you have gone through, there's a lot of unresolved pain from a previous relationship. Some of you spirits saying this is from a previous marriage or a previous relationship. Some of you may have also lost someone. You may be grieving the loss of a past relationship in a sense that this person may have also literally passed away. There's abandonment here, a, feel, a feeling of being abandoned. Some of you might have abandonment wounds from childhood. Wounds that are being triggered from past relationships. It's a lot of trauma I'm also getting. And that could be yours. It could be theirs. Somebody went through a bad divorce. Okay, is another energy that's coming through. Somebody went through a really bad divorce and is just like, I don't want to go through that again, you know? Okay. So let's ask Spirit here. What is your advice for this connection? <laughs> what is Pile Three's advice for this connection? What is Pile Three's advice for this connection? The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune as advice, the Wheel of Fortune is about something that is outside of your control, okay? This is about fate, it's about destiny, it's about going with the flow. So if right now this person is not talking to you, not taking action towards you, you know, you can't force it with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a need for you to trust in divine timing and also trust that if you and this person are meant to be with each other, the universe will make it so. Okay. Let's see. What is your advice here, Pile 3? Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to take that in reverse. And then we've also got the world energy here. So right now, this is Spirit saying here. Some of you are really needing to heal here stabilize your emotions some of you are dealing with mental health emotional health um depression because of this situation it's affecting you hmm okay so knight of pentacles is in reverse here so this is basically spirit saying here that this connection right now is not stable Okay, it is not stable right now. And it could be because you're dealing with your feelings and your emotions. They're doing the same thing. The world energy here is about ending a cycle. Okay, there is insecurities here that have to be healed as well. There's a need for grounding at this time for you. Okay, a need for you to get grounded. Um, there, you know... Being that the world is here, the world is a completion. It's, it's it's something that's ended. So if this relationship at this point right now is over, this is now time for you to focus on healing. Okay? To to kind of restabilize yourself emotionally. Work on healing. And like I said, if this person is meant to be with you, trust that, that the universe will bring them right back in okay hopefully with better energy okay so that is all that i have for you pile number three i do hope this was helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading